So Chris, where are we at today? Uh, we're actually just uh, in the, out the outskirts of Porta Ferry here, drawing the Clawhy the day so far, at our home, home farm. So can you tell me a bit about yourself and what sort of fleet you're running? Ah, uh, well, I'm Chris Thompson in partnership with the uncle. Um, uh, his son will be too before long. Um, we're mapping about 230, 240 cows, British Friesians, after calved there. There'll be 230, 240 going through the parlour. Do basically everything there ourselves, our own grass. And Sorry, I've been contracting here and there, or with time. Yeah. <laughs> Farming about 400, 450 years, all grass on. It's a lovely part of the world, do Aye, no, it can be in most days. Most days. <laughs> Hilly enough, too. Aye, uh, well, some steep ground about. Yeah. There, this, this bit of this farm, and there's another plot of ground over there, right? way towards the sea there, at Kearney, if you ever heard of it. Yeah, yeah, aye, I, I, caught, it, I caught the mowing out there. It, it would be, it'd be fair steep out of ground out there. Yeah, so, what are we in then? Ah, uh, we're in 8 to 8, so our Profi Plus. What year is she? 2016, I guess. Yeah. Seems right and fresh. I know, you know, like, you look after them. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose when you spend the money on them, you're uh, just right. Too. You're right, you're right. See, I'm 530 there, she's on the, the other wagon. The, yeah. one, the 195 was on it there last night, but she's rolling the side of there for the CD cable snap there. Go on the road there last night. So. Yeah. I was able to get my hand up the side of the gearbox and pop her out of C and let her go in the A B there for <laughs> rolling the side of it. Should be should be should be getting pretty pretty full there. Actually, right? so going to have to go down our yard here to do another side of versus yeah. I, just too full. You'd expect it on a heavy crop. I I say that's full as that's ever been. That side of only we want four on four there. Just get her backside warm, did you? <laughs> so. What wagons are you running? Uh, we have a Pottinger Toro, 6010 combi line. Yeah. Uh, Pottinger Toro, 5100 as well. So when did this wagon come? We got her 20, 2018, but at the end of 2018, then usually the 2019 season go in. We got her in there when we, we got her start of last season, chopped more acres. Just knew you had to do something like this. Some days there, you had a contemplated life, see you know, <laughs> one wagon going. I suppose you'd soon shift a bit of grass with two wagons. And... Ah, you wouldn't be long getting through it, like. Nah. So what, what do you mow with then? Eh, uh, well, Pottinger, Pottinger back over there, Nova Cut, CO2 or something we got there. Yeah. 10 foot conditioner. And a uh, 1v1 John Deere front mower. Yeah. 10 foot conditioner. So the 7530, she was took off the mowers and put on the wagon then? Aye, well, we started yeah. out the one with the 195 and she now the solenoid went and the coil went and the front bead heel pack. So yeah. Had to throw them off and throw them on the 75 for her to get her back in the action. <laughs> yeah. Um, then with the 195 in the wagon until she broke out on cables and that was down there the past uh -huh. day or two that she has. It looks right and clean. Aye, she is. Aye, 12 and a half thousand hours, like, and 
So I have not many months cleaner on there, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> but, Since the no, fourth morning of any bar. Oh, sure, right. I got her just in the nick of time for that before, every, before the craze came off. Yeah. Everybody wants them now. I'll tell you what, she's given very little, very little more touch with. <laughs> I can see why. Everyone wants one now. Yeah, I love everybody. Everybody likes driving, all right. Yeah. No, she still, she still does a lot of heavy work like that she does. Yeah, I'd say she's getting warm there today in that wagon and some of them steep hills. I, well, I used to, I actually, before I got this fence, I had, I ran on that 75 on this 60 cam here behind me. Yeah. For a year, but so that I got something else and give her a bit, give her a bit easier, but there's a, Back on it again. <laughs> so, so you're a big fan of the fan now? I, I do like the fan. Sure, I love a, I love a fan V4 or something as well. There, we've got home yeah. there, smaller tractor. But sure, you can't have it on. No. You can't. <laughs> that, that sound fine. That's what we were just talking about there one night. You know what? Well, what would you, what would you change her for? Like, yeah. you know, if you were gonna change her, so you'd change her for a seven V4. Ah, seven V4 or one. 55R or something then a 155 you know you just do 155 I'd say I, I don't know for sure now but in my opinion should probably be a lighter tractor than that 75 like that's a sturdy big tractor out there. Yeah. You can chuck around the alley corner around all Yeah. You stick to the road. But no nah, she'd be should be here for the first day of futures as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Your mom there roughly he's he's getting off for the day he's gonna be down to the <laughs> get, the, get the t-shirt off, the, the evaporator, <laughs> the evaporator and the aircon, somehow sensor or somehow unit below the seat or something the way on there. And that Johnny there that does the work on me has it sitting there, but I just haven't had time to, to let her let stop for a couple of hours to get in there so they can, they can yeah. sweat away there for a day or two yet. I do no harm. Uh, that warm. Uh, uh, panoramic doors in her too. Probably ah, that's, that's, that's the situation. No, no side windows or full drift or nothing. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be a fan of the back one to be open, but no. I see they're open there. <laughs> Warm out day. Ah, uh, you gotta do something, to get a breath. Uh, grass tried up rightly then. Ah, it has kicked that. That stuff was only really kicked out there yesterday, yesterday evening. Yeah. But well, just wake up there this morning, it's dead on like. So dry now. Ah, uh, perfect. Ah, uh, there'd be a difference there between. Uh, stuff we, we didn't kick, kind of didn't kick him, thought about it, you know, and our bar just thought about it, but the real the difference between the stuff that was kicked out and not. Yeah. Aye, right, so then um, what's rolling up in front of you? Aye, well, we have our own potter rake there, but usually it'll be on one of our tractors or something, but yeah. we're trying to remember so on grass scene and stuff there as well. Yeah. So, so I just got, I got Dave and Dave Patton there. Sure, Mally, if I know him. <laughs> uh, got him, he, he would always go and drive the rake for us, so I just got him to bring his own tracker. Nice. To pull it. See if, see if any hassle. A lot of friendly neighbours then. Aye, a lot of, uh, lot of good good friends. Yeah. Really, they're all willing to give a hand. My crack sure too. Like. Aye, it's always, so always good to have them now. You're basically running near the all point your tip now. Aye, well. We started off with just the Pottinger, the, the first Euro Profi 4500 Pottinger wagon, and from then on we just sort of stuck with it. You know, and seems good enough wearing machinery to me, like I can't fault it really in any way. So yeah. You really might as well try and keep some things the same, make life a bit handier sometimes. Would you, would you go any bigger wagon on this? Ah, well, you never say never. Never say never. <laughs> Even riding these big roads. Aye, well, there seems to be a lot of bike roads about this part of the country. The, the roads aren't too bad. It's uh, some of the gateways and stuff you're trying to get in. Some of the wee places we go do there to lift a bit of grass for yeah. ways. Yeah, It'd be tight enough now. <laughs> I think it's just a steer and axle on it. Oh, uh, yeah, you can yeah, do yeah. a steer and axle. Both of them big wagons with steer and axle. Oh, my God, it takes it takes the steer and axle for those. Yeah, especially. I've seen some of the gapers trying to get in here. I know there'll be a few gateways that have uh, seen the shovel now to make it wider. <laughs> <laughs> Just the guess when you're about to go through. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. At the point, yeah, so I have to go around widening them. Ah, uh, well, this size uh, machinery nowadays. Ah, uh, everyone's just getting that big. Yeah. I have to move forward with the times. A 14 foot gate. That's much use now. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
No, it's all right if you've got the room to maneuver, but some of you're trying to get off a wee, out of a wee tight yard or off a wee tight lane or something. Yeah. Sure, and there's just a chance of dragging the machinery, like. Yeah. Take it away than the gate, like. Thanks very much for having me out. You're welcome. Stick it. Two days, still running the sun. Aye. It's nice to be back in the grass. Aye. That's it. That's it. That's it. Cheers. But no water. I am here with eyes open.